Okay, sixth grade, lesson 95. This is on reduce, reducing units before multiplying. Okay, so you're used to doing problems like this, right? Okay, and instead of going three times two equals six and four times six equals 24 and then reducing this big number, we're gonna reduce before we multiply, okay? Yeah. Which is called canceling out, all right? So what number will go into both three and six? Now I could have chosen three and four, but the same number won't go into three and four. Yeah. So let's do a top number with any bottom number. Okay. So let's do this one and this one. Okay. What will go into both three and six? Three. Three, very good. Three will go into three one time, three will go into six two times. Now let's do two and four. What will go into both two and four? Two. Two will. Two will go into two one time and two will go into four two times. Now we would just go one times one is one and two times two is four. And it's already reduced because we reduced first and then multiplied. Got it? Yeah. All right, now this was previous learning. Today, what you're gonna learn about doing is about reducing units. Units are like inches, feet, centimeters, meters, things like that. You're also gonna learn how to reduce those, okay? So, for example, let's say something was four miles an hour, okay? Let's say you could run four miles in an hour or you could walk four miles in an hour. That's four miles per hour. Okay. Okay? Um, let's say that you walked two hours. Okay. Okay? So how long did you walk? How many miles did you walk? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this by two hours. You went four miles an hour and you did it for two hours. Four miles per hour times two hours, okay? I'm gonna put this over one because it needs something because this is a fraction, so this side needs to be a fraction. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to look at this, okay? Now, do you... Okay, so what we're gonna to learn to do is to cancel out two units that are the same. Just like we could do numbers and cancel them out if a number went into them, you can do that with hour. You see how this is hours and hours? Mm -hmm. That's what? And it just crosses them out. You're done. Yeah. Can't, it's called cancel them out. So now, four miles times two is? Eight. Eight. And what do we have left? Miles. The hours have been crossed out. So we write miles. Okay? okay, so if I went four miles per hour, one hour, and I did this for two hours, how long would I walk? Eight miles. Very good. You see what we did? Yeah. It's just learning how to cancel out the units. All right, let's try a few more. Okay, you'll get a hang of it. All right, write this one down. Here's what it says. Multiply 55 miles, now I'm gonna put MI for miles, per hour. So I'm gonna put one hour because hour means one hour. 55 miles per hour. So it'd be like a car that goes 55 miles per hour, okay? And we're gonna travel for six hours times six hours. Okay. Okay, now do you see why I would put this over one? Mm -hmm. Because this is a fraction piece and this is a fraction piece. Now, I'm going 55 miles per one hour and I'm doing this for six hours. So can I cross out these hours? Yep. Okay, so I would take 55 times six, which is 330. Okay, so the answer is gonna be 330 miles. Okay, I'll, I'll put it out to the side right here, but I don't have enough room, so I'll put it underneath. Okay. Okay. So, how long, how far did I travel? How many miles? 330. Uh-huh. In how many hours? Uh, six. Six. So, I went 55 miles in one hour, and I multiplied that by six hours. That's how long we went. So, this is how many miles we traveled. You got it? Mm-hmm. All right. Do this one on your own, and we'll go over it on the board. It says, multiply five feet 
They told me to multiply that by 12 inches per foot. Okay? So write that down. Okay. Five feet. It says multiply 5 feet by 12 inches per foot. Okay. Do you understand why I would put one foot? Would you put five over one? You would. Okay, this time it's moved around. Remember earlier we had this over here? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. It still can be the same. It doesn't matter how you yeah. switch them. Okay, do you understand why I put one foot? Mm -hmm. They just said 12 inches in a foot. That would make sense for it to be one foot, right? Yeah. Okay, so what? Can anything cross out? Feet. Feet okay. and feet. Very good. So, basically it's going to be 12 times 5, which is... 60 inches okay? okay so if I had 12 inches in a foot and I had five foot of it how many inches would I have 60 60 very good all right that is lesson 95